You know what, if you're a container gardener, as I am, particularly if you grow tomatoes in container uh, containers, pots and what have you, these things are a modern miracle. Boy, you can have yep. so much more success using Absolutely. them. Absolutely. And in fact, I first learned about them uh, back in the early 90s when people were putting them in the ground and then putting sod on top as a way of water conservation for oh, golf sure. courses. So we'll introduce everybody to them. The material here is a super absorbent polymer. And so these little crystals here are actually a polymer, a, a short for a, a long chain of molecules. And consider them little sponges. So as soon as you add them to water, they will fluff up. Yeah, and it takes amazing. about a half hour, 45 minutes, and they will expand. So about a pound that you see here, about a pound of these will absorb about 25 gallons of water. And what you get, take a look at this, when you feel inside here, are these little jelly-like crystals. Isn't that just amazing? It's amazing. And so it doesn't here, take a lot of water to hydrate them. No, and It's always kind all. of fun when you do it the night before, then the next morning it's like, ooh, look well, what I did. Well, it looks like ice, doesn't it? And yeah. so the kids absolutely love to play with it. And of course, safe and non-toxic. And so what I did was invited the kids this weekend. So I'll show you some video that took place over the weekend, you have to get a whole bunch of the kids together and, of course, throw things at each other. And, uh, <laughs> we just fill a five-gallon bucket with water and then a handful of the crystals that go down inside. Go inside for a lemonade. Well, it's stirred around first, of course, and go inside right. for a lemonade and voila. There they it. are. Now, the secret is you dig the hole for the plant ahead of time and now you've got to mix some of the crystals in the ground and mix them with the dirt. So they right. don't go on top, but they actually mix underneath there. And then, of course, the, uh, the plant goes right underneath there and you pack it in and you have got uh, now a water conservation kind of technique there that you can see and it just kind of goes down inside the ground. Yeah, so it's terrific. perfect to be able to do, but you can't just put the dry crystals in. So a lot of people, we get emails where people just sprinkle in yeah. the dry. You can't Gotta do hydrate that. Them you first. have to literally just start with the dirt there and throw in the crystals. And on the website, I've given you all of the information in terms of how much to be able to use. On brand new grass, for example, you'll put the dry crystals down about two and a half inches below the surface of the soil and then put the sod on top. People in Colorado are reporting 50 to 80 percent savings in their water over eight years because this material here will biodegrade after about eight years. I didn't so the know root that. structure I knew is that they would amazing. rehydrate as I as I because year to year I still get great performance, yeah. but I didn't know how long they would last. And I didn't realize that the older ones would rehydrate absolutely. season to season. Yeah, so. Absolutely. Well and if you want to get the kids involved, there's lots of teachers out there that are using them. You just simply take and put some food coloring in with the water, then put the crystals in and look at what you get. You get these three that you see over here. So here is our red, yellow, and blue. And so we just do primary colors like this. And now you can build the little color rainbow. So we take our little test tubes and you just jam some of the crystals down inside. So we start with a little yellow and then you mix a, a little bit of red inside there and finally a little bit of blue. You can see I'm really, really careful. But would right. you look at what happens with it is that as soon as they touch one another, it looks like they're mixing not yet, about 24 hours and they literally will share their liquids back and forth. So look at the large column that you see over here. That's amazing. This actually just started red, yellow and blue. But if you take a look at this in-between piece here, notice that we have orange in here and we have green New and colors. we have purple. So it's brand new and you have the great big huge long wand over almost here. Almost the colors of the yep. Rainbow. Absolutely. Almost and so tomorrow. what a great way to get the kids involved and learn a little bit about water conservation at the same time and the crystals. They're really, really inexpensive. Plant store, tree store, and I put all the information on the website. So everybody at home can start using these. Crystals. So much fun.